the Physio Kundalini Syndrome, based on the work of Itzhak Bentov, in the space where science meets mysticism, where ancient yogic knowledge converges with modern biophysics, we find the work of a man who dared to decode the sacred. His name was Itzhak Bentov Inventor, scientist, philosopher of the inner realms. Today, we explore his groundbreaking model of the Physio Kundalini Syndrome, a biological pathway to awakening hidden within the human body itself. For thousands of years, seekers have described a mysterious force, a coiled serpent of energy said to rest at the base of the spine. When awakened, it rises through the body, igniting visions, tremors, and states of bliss. This force is known as Kundalini. But Bentov proposed something revolutionary, that this phenomenon might not be purely mystical, but also mechanical, a process driven by vibration, resonance, and nervous system dynamics. He described Kundalini as a series of vibratory and neurological events, events triggered by prolonged stillness, breath, and internal rhythm, all observable through measurable physiology. It begins in the heart. As the body enters deep meditation, the heartbeat slows. It becomes regular, smooth, rhythmic. This pulse travels upward through the body and rebounds internally, creating what Bentov called the bifurcation echo. That echo forms a standing wave, a loop of resonance. That rises up into the brain, stimulating deeper centers. At the core of Bentov's theory are the brain's hollow chambers, the cerebral ventricles, filled with cerebrospinal fluid. When resonance builds in these cavities, they begin to vibrate, and with them, the surrounding brain structures, most notably the sensory and motor cortex, the area that maps the sensations of the body. This resonance excites different zones in the cortex, which is why those experiencing Kundalini report waves of tingling, heat, shifting pressure, and spontaneous movement throughout the body. Bentov believed that the experience of Kundalini was actually a progression of standing waves, sweeping through the nervous system, stimulating it in an orderly fashion. These waves can cause a wide variety of sensations, including tingling in the spine or limbs, heat in the chest or head, sudden muscle contractions, changes in hearing, vision, or breath, feelings of floating or disconnection from the body. Far from being pathological, Bentoff believed these were signs of transformation, of the nervous system reorganizing itself like tuning a musical instrument. At the center of this transformation lies the homunculus, the brain's distorted map of the human body. As Kundalini rises, the wave of excitation moves through this map. Feet, pelvis, abdomen, chest, throat, face, and crown. Each activated in sequence, like notes in a symphony. This parallels the ancient chakra system. Yet Bentov explained it through neurology. He suggested that this process might be evolutionary, that the physio-kundalini syndrome could be the next step in human development, activating higher centers of awareness and perception. But Bentov also warned, if this process occurs without guidance, it can be frightening, disorienting, even painful. Those experiencing spontaneous kundalini may be misdiagnosed. But in truth, they are not broken, they are awakening. Proper grounding, breathwork, and gradual practice can allow the nervous system to integrate the experience. Ultimately, Bentov's work serves as a bridge, a bridge between science and spirit, between ancient wisdom and modern physiology. In his vision, Kundalini is not superstition. It is resonance, mechanics, energy in motion. The body is an instrument and when tuned correctly, it sings with the universe. 
so if you feel a current rise within you, if your spine tingles, if silence becomes sound, if your breath deepens beyond control, you may be experiencing the Physio Kundalini Syndrome. And you are not alone. You are evolving.